Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh. It was it was so good. I don't. I don't, I mean, I don't I'm feel just saying, great. Suddenly. Don't knock it till you try it. I really am not feeling terrific right now. Oh. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, hurt me mm -hmm. on the inside, dude. It really did. I'm just saying, it's so good. Oh God, you it's know, so but there's. Good. It's not just food. There's lots of things that can hurt you on the inside. Take a look at this. The IRS is holding millions of tax returns and delaying refunds. Really? So when they, wow. when you're supposed to pay them, there's a deadline. But when they're supposed to pay you, ooh, yeah, we're going to just of delay course. that. Yeah. Right. We'll get to that whenever we can get to it. This is like that uh -huh. meme of the dog that says there's other ways he can hurt you. And then he shows you this headline. <laughs> oh. It's terrible. This is the kind of thing that, bo that bothers me even in general customer service, man. They can take your money immediately, but it's going to mm -hmm. take five to ten business oh, the days to get you back tough. to you. You sons of bitches. No, it doesn't. You yeah, know, it really doesn't. Man. Give me my money. I mean, you know, if they don't get to you with the return or the refund or whatever the case is, I, you know, absolute worst case scenario, they you end up having to fucking maybe go to a civil suit with them long term, which ends up just being a fine for that company. But again, mm. when it goes the other way, when they need something from you. It's not just uh, it's not just the government who acts like a business. It's also big businesses as well, man. But when it comes to the customer, man, they will go much harsher. Oklahoma woman charged with a felony for not returning a VHS tape for 21 years. What a felony! That's a felony. Right to jail. You go right to jail. That looks like a bootleg. <laughs> yeah, I can't you imagine don't say. Yeah. The I can't imagine that the value of any VHS on the planet right now would be worthy of a felony at this point in history. Oh boy. All over Maybe Melissa like an Joan unopened Hart. copy of something, I don't know. All over Star Clarissa Wars. explains it all, man. God damn. <laughs> I liked oh, that show. I, I was know. I was Caroline, in the right. Car Caroline Ray really killed it on that show, you know. Caroline Ray. Oh, on Sabrina. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't watch that. <laughs> I, I thought know. you were talking about Clarissa either. explains it all. I was right in, oh, the, no, yeah. in the the age demographic for that. Ferg for sure. face. Yeah, the brother Ferguson. Yeah. That's right. Holy shit, man. Ferguson was a little shit. He was, he was a little. Was, he was. He was forced to be a little shit. It was in the fucking script, Phil. That's not the only thing that can force <laughs> you to take a shit. Mysterious content sealed in 160-year-old medicine bottles, identified as a deadly laxative, used uh, by famed Japanese doctor to treat everything from strokes to syphilis. And can I just say, that might be my best segue of all time. That was pretty good. That was that pretty good. That was pretty good, good buddy. That, thank not you. bad. Not bad. I'm thank you. for you, you son uh, of a thank bitch. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Good Lord, deadly. Yeah. The sun is a deadly laxative. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've ever had syphilis before, but uh, I, I deadly laxative might not be a sure better that I alternative. Have. Oh, boy. I have <laughs> not had syphilis before, Phil. Is there something you want to tell the group? No, I'm just saying that if you're having a stroke and you have time for a laxative, you might want to sort out your priorities. God damn, does syphilis make you have a stroke? No, I'm just saying that guy treated syphilis and stroke. Aha, I see. I'm, I'm just saying, I like, gotcha. if you're having a stroke and your first thought is to chug some laxative, you should you may probably have bigger think about problems. maybe going to the hospital right. instead. Right, right. I gotcha. It makes sense. You know what doesn't make sense, though, dude? Putting what? mayonnaise on a burger, you sick fuck. You what is son of a you? bitch. Yeah, that's right. You thought I was going to fucking forget. Well, I didn't, sir. The hot tub made me remember. It's good. I like it, okay? <laughs> Zach Osborne says, might have to switch to rum. Beer ain't doing it for me. You know, maybe I should track down a beer for myself here at this point. We might be out of beer. It would be nice if we had some kind of beer tracker that could find beer for us. We don't mm. have a flying car yet, but this is possibly even better. The Internet of Beer. Killer IoT app finally arrives. The keg tracking tech tackles light-fingered miscreants. So those guys that you get keg from, now they basically low-jack their fucking kegs, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, can we use that to find beer when we have no beer? Look so for anybody so on the beer can, network, they man. Can get their te kegs back after after selling them or whatever, right? Because mm -hmm. people are just taking them. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could repossess the the keg. 
Sound like that, even, right? I mean, yeah, why not? If you got GPS on that sucker, just send, uh, you know, send Brutus over, have him knock on the door and be like, right. you had a party four weeks ago. I think uh, you have something that belongs to us. I know, you know, it would be tough to lie, man, because they've got the fucking tracking software on your keg. It would be hard to lie to them, you know? That's right? not the only time like, it would be tough to lie. Let's take a look at a guy who recently got arrested for possession of cocaine, said he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can be tough to lie when this is your mugshot. <laughs> no, he just had some oh, sunscreen on, man. Ah, I love the fact that the, the picture on the side next is to him is Al Pacino. Made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it, man. Oh, uh, man. It's uh, lying he is difficult. He was eating donuts. He was eating donuts. <laughs> Those little powdery ones, man. Yeah, mm. they're delicious. Yeah, I mean that dude got zooted. <laughs> you know, he took <laughs> Big it. Big time. He took it all the way up there. He really did, and mm -hmm. that can make a motherfucker crazy. It really can. Let's look at somebody else that's crazy real quick. Ted Nugent finally admits COVID nineteen is real. Okay, now on hey, the one hand, metastasis. <laughs> On the one hand, I get you, Ted Nugent. People do overblow shit. It's not going to be the end of the world. I'm with you on that. But trying to say that the shit doesn't actually exist is a bridge too far, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I mean, Phil, me and you have both had it. So it's Mina. All three of us no, in this hot tub have all had it. Yeah? Yeah, uh, I never had it actually. Oh, I no, thought you I did. Didn't you have, have to quarantine for a short time? I, we thought I had it for a little oh, bit, but I, okay. it came back negative. I oh, was just that's sick. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, nonetheless, <laughs> old Ted Nugent finally did catch the coof. And so what does he do about it? Ted Nugent says he's taking a controversial antiparasite drug called ivermectin, maybe, to treat COVID-19. Okay. All right. Well, got to tell you there, it's not a parasite. So I don't know what an anti-parasite drug is going to do to a virus. That's yeah. like being that's like saying I'm going to get rid of it with antibiotic soap. Well, <laughs> that, I don't think that's that's uh, not totally how it word. works. I do not think it means what I'm you sorry, think it means. I'm sorry, not uh, antibiotic, antibacterial soap. Excuse me, antibacterial uh -huh. soap. COVID is also not a bacteria. It's also not mm -hmm. a parasite. I I'm not sure how that's going to work. I guess if it works, it works, but. I don't know. Who takes advice from Ted Nugent? No, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> that goofy Uncle son of a bitch. Hey, I love Stranglehold, but Jesus, Ted. You Is know, he he's... sure he has COVID-19 and not cat scratch fever? Oh, I'm fuck you, Phil. <laughs> That's it. I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. Can I just, Can I just speak to you? I mean, really speak to you like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for spying on women.